guys, how's it going? Today's a very special day because Department 56 has launched their new items for 2021. We're going to be looking at the Halloween stuff, and it's very interesting, I'd say. It's a pretty good year for Department 56. First, we'll be looking at the accessories, and then we'll be going into the bigger pieces. And um, yeah, let's start with this first one. So they have this jack lantern lit fence corners. Pretty standard, just a fence, but it's the corners. Next, we have two new fences for this year, an orange one and a purple one. These creepy village street signs, they launched two two sets of these this year. Next, we have something pretty cool. It's Frankenstein's water tower. Love the water towers. The pumpkin water tower was actually my favorite. This one's also really cool, Frankenstein on it. Very nice water tower from Department 56. Next, we have the Halloween gate. This might go with the corner fences. Next, we have a little display here. It's called Fright Night Lit Base. So this tree has lights on it. Pumpkins November 1st. It's showing these smashed pumpkins because it's after Halloween. A mailbox. Pretty standard mailbox with a hand coming out of it. Um, a black cat. Just a quick heads up, guys. In about a minute, we'll be looking into the big pieces for this year. So, if you like Department 56 and you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to smash that like button. Um, you could skip ahead if you wanted to. But, uh, yeah. Let's get right back into it. Then we have this haunted slime tree, which I think is pretty cool. Then we have a, another standard tree. It's actually pretty large. It's 14 inches. So if you want a big tree, this might go well with that. Some more trees here. I don't know how to feel about this, paying $30 for two trees. I would, If you want these types of trees, I would just suggest going on Amazon. Then we have some um, Day of the Dead stuff from Department 56. They're actually pretty good with this Day of the Dead stuff. Here's the other street signs that actually might go with Day of the Dead. Here's the Day of the Dead dog. I really like this dog. It would go well with the Day of the Dead scene. So now we're going to go on to the bigger pieces. There are actually some smaller pieces in here too. This is called Beware of Hitchhikers. Pretty unique, kind of like ghosts over here, hitchhiking. Tubing SOS. So we have these arms coming out and getting this, this guy in a tube. Interesting. Then we have this Day of the Dead Remembrance piece. Very nice Day of the Dead piece. Snoopy Street, no tricks. Uh, just a standard piece with a dog. Snoopy, and this boy over here, Charlie Brown. Here's something interesting. We have an It piece, so we see It here. I really like this piece. It looks very much like It. And finally, for the small stuff, we have a Cryptic Cave Mystic. This would go with one of the bigger pieces we're about to talk about. Here's the first big piece we're talking about. It's called the Day of the Dead Crypt. I really like this piece. Um, Department 56 really does a good job with these Day of the Dead pieces. So here's that cave piece. So it's basically a store that sells crystals. I think it's a pretty interesting theme they're going for here. Like I said, that goes with that piece we were just talking about. There's three more pieces left. This is one of them. This is called the Haunted Swamp Shanty, coming in at 145 bucks. Just a regular old uh, swamp house. Very good if you have like a forest scene or something like that. The price may be a little much for this. Nevertheless, I think Department 56 did a great job on this piece. Here's the Trick or Treat Lane piece for this year. It's a Peanuts piece. It's coming in at 200 bucks, which is kind of iffy, but it's a licensed piece, so it's going to be more expensive naturally. Just so you guys know, what you see on the screen right now is not actually the piece um, Department 56 messed up. This is one of the smaller pieces that come with the actual house. So this isn't the actual house, it's just a smaller side piece. I don't know, if you're a Peanuts fan, if you're a big Peanuts fan, this would definitely be a really cool piece to have. And the last piece this year is the Disneyland Haunted Mansion, coming in at 285 bucks. Now, it's going to be expensive, but if you buy it, I think it'll be worth it for you, if you have the money to buy it. So over here it says, inspired by the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland, this detailed jack-o'-lantern festoon Victorian mansion hides some spooky adventures for those who enter. Very big piece. It's lit up. You can see some lights down here. Um, internal lighting as well. And it really does look like the haunted mansion at Disneyland. They did a great job with this piece. So yep, yeah, that's Department 56's 2021 Halloween stuff. If you enjoyed, make sure to like this video and subscribe, because I'll be coming out with more videos. And, uh, yeah, that's the video. Hope you have a good one. See you later.